Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend video. Today I'm going to show you how to access and get music in Windows 8. Windows 8 comes with a slew of improvements including the new Metro UI which includes a music app which is where you're going to go. The music app is right here. Um, the live tile is going to tell you what's playing or yeah that kind of stuff and as you can see by default it opens right here and it tells you what you're what you were playing before when you last closed it if you scroll down you can go through the music store and you can see the most popular music um, you can search the store for anything I'll show you that in a second and of course you have your music here now why is there no music here well that's because there's nothing in your music library so let's fix that for a second close the app go to your desktop uh, I've of course prepared some music hopefully uh, copyright won't be an issue but uh, because you know in videos you're not really supposed to show off music at least that's why scene so let's just take a bunch of Room 5 music, copy it over to the music folder. These are all from their uh, newest album, Overexposed. Uh, yes, I, I am a fan of Room 5. Good music, good music indeed. So go to the music app once again and scroll up and it should synchronize. slowly but surely it's gonna start adding your music so if you go to my music here you're gonna see the album overexposed which has seven songs and of course you can uh, create a playlist you can play the entire album and whatnot playlists are down here you can create a new playlist um, just by clicking and making sure that your name is valid and of course go to any song and you can um, add to the new playlist or to now playing okay so now let's say that we want to play the album very simply you just click that and uh, you're gonna see that the live tile here is gonna change and if you go to the music itself you're gonna see some nice art now due to copyright I'm just going to mute this I I, I don't wanna get into trouble so now as you can see you have um, some nice graphics that go with it and uh, you can see more about their album and whatnot to go to the next song you just click next um, and of course if you right click you can shuffle and repeat you can see the list by clicking down here and of course if you once again go next you're gonna see it's gonna shuffle As you can see up here, you've got controls. So if you're in the music app and you change the volume and you see this, you can actually change things up here. Fortune Teller, Lucky Strike, Lady Killer, Love Somebody. You know, you can just go through whatever songs are in your now playing. So now let's say that you want to uh, buy some music. Well, you would go back, you would go back, and you would land on Xbox Music. Of course, um, if you want to delete the playlist we just made, uh, you go here and you delete, and it will delete it for you, and it will not show up here anymore. So now, all you have to do is go through the music, and let's say that you want to listen to some Queen. Uh, one of their best known songs is Bohemian Rhapsody so you can preview for 30 seconds and it will play 
As you can see, it plays. <laughs> um, and again, the controls are very easy to use. So, what's next? What's next? Well, in terms of music, this is pretty much everything you need to know. Um, you can go to the Xbox Music Store and you can find anything on here. Um, if I wanted to filter based on type, I can go to pop or rock or electro or uh, hip hop or country R&B soundtracks and even more now of course if I wanted to search the store for a certain song let's search for some I don't know let's search for Nickelback of course here you can um, basically choose the artist or the album let's say if we choose Dark Horse um, you find the, the album here and you'll be able to preview um, you would get the preview the album just as you could with the others as you can see and of course you can do you can do the same thing with any band you just go to any corner search so that's pretty much it. Now the other thing I'll show you is if you right click and open file um, you can see the brand new file system that's in Metro and of course um, you can choose whatever um, song or songs you want to play and just open them and they will open as a um, as a playlist as you can see and they'll give you a little bit of information here about your files. So that's pretty much it with the music app and playing music in general and um, Windows 8. Of course if you increase the size you're gonna get more information about what's playing currently on Windows 8. So do let us know what do you think of getting and playing music in Windows 8. You like it? Let us know. Comment section is below. You like our content? Subscribe button is above. Social media links are in the description. I hope that you take the time to join us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus because there is so much more than what you're seeing right now. Don't miss it. And of course, if there's anything you want to see, that is the best way to let us know. So until next time, this has been another Computer Software Is Your Friend video.